Hello everyone, I am Sridhan Shankaran from Research and Innovation Group, TCS. In this video, I will brief you about section 3 of the test, which is about programming concepts. This section has 10 questions and it is divided into two subsections. A portion of the examination screen is shown here. You can see there are two tabs, standard and advanced. Standard is the first subsection where there will be seven normal difficulty level questions and advanced tab will contain three advanced level questions. If a candidate clears both standard and advanced subsections, then he or she will qualify for the digital round. But if the candidate clears only the standard subsection, then he or she will qualify only for the ninja round. This is subject to the candidate clearing the other three sections, which are English, quantitative, aptitude and coding sections. The questions are of two types, multiple choice questions and fill up the blank type questions. Each subsection will have a mixture of fill up the blank type questions and multiple choice questions. Multiple choice questions carry negative marks if you answer it wrong. For the fill up the blank type questions, there are no negative marks. Moving on to the types of questions, uh, both fill up the blanks and multiple choice questions broadly can be classified under some seven or eight types. For example, you might be given a C code or a pseudo code um, and you will be asked to identify what exactly that piece of code does. Maybe it is doing some string operation, maybe it is uh, uh, trying to find out a missing element in a series or maybe it is doing some sorting and so on. Or you might be given a code and you will be asked to identify where exactly an error is. Or there can be some conceptual questions related to programming, uh, structured versus unstructured programming, uh, object oriented versus procedural uh, language and so on. And uh, there can be some elementary algorithm based questions uh, about uh, popular sorting and searching algorithms. Uh, there can be some basic data structure based questions. Um, and there also can be some questions uh, based on C language and there can be some questions that test your understanding of what compilation is, what linking is and the role of operating system at a fundamental level. These are some indicative types of questions. Moving on to the indicative set of topics, let us start with uh, the set of seven questions that are of medium difficulty which are part of uh, subsection 1. Uh, in data structures, we will cover uh, array, stack, queue and uh, list, singly linked list and doubly linked list. And algorithms, the basic searching and the sorting algorithms. And in programming concepts, uh, what's iteration, what is recursion, procedural language versus object oriented. And uh, some C language questions uh, will be there. Um, like topics like call by value, call by reference, the various types of uh, data, the data types, basic and derived ones, uh, the storage class like your static and auto and so on. Uh, what is the difference between scope and visibility? Some basics of pointers and some basic uh, header files that are frequently used. Uh, some of the library functions that we frequently use, the various branching and looping statements, uh, the command line arguments and, and about user defined functions. These are for, these are of the medium difficulty level for the first seven questions. And for the remaining three questions which qualify you to go to the digital round, the questions will be a bit more difficult. We will be covering some additional topics and these are shown here in red color, uh, hash table, uh, binary trees, tree traversal 
and time and uh, space complexity, dynamic programming and, and so on. Okay, before we wind up this section, let's look at a couple of examples. Here is the first example. Which of the following statements is false and you are given four options. By looking at it, we can say that the first one, linear search requires a sorted list is false because as we know, linear search takes uh, all the elements one at a time in an iterative way and then uh, it compares with the target value. So it does not require a sorted list. So that is the false one. So the answer to that is number one. And all other statements are correct statements. A binary search can operate only on a sorted list. The time complexity of linear search is order of n and time complexity of binary search is order of log n. So those are all true statements. So these are not the answers. We are looking for a false statement which is the first statement. Moving on to the next example. Isha wrote a function fact in C language to calculate factorial of a given number and saved the file as fact.c. She forgot to code a main function to call this fact function. Will she be able to compile fact.c without main function? To answer this, we should know the difference between compiling and linking. So the various steps before you run a program, you have to first compile and then link and then only you can run. So the question is, will she be able to compile without a main function? To run a program, you need a main function. To compile, you don't need a main function. You can compile a C code that does not have a main function. However, you cannot run it because you need the main function to be the first function to run in a C program. That is not available here. So uh, the answer to this question is yes, she will be able to compile this program, but she will not be able to run it. With this, we end section three and I will see you all again in section four. Bye for now.